guys, welcome to RJ Tech Bytes. Today we're going to cover port LEDs on Cisco Catalyst switches. Port LEDs, or link lights as they're colloquially called, are the LEDs that are located right above the ports on a switch, and they're really handy to use as a quick reference while troubleshooting port-specific issues. We'll be working with a 3750V2 switch in this video, but this knowledge can be applied to just about any Catalyst switch. There are a few exceptions here. For example, Catalyst 6500 series switches behave a bit differently in terms of their port LEDs, but for the most part what I'm showing you on this 3750V2 will apply for other Catalyst switches. So, before looking at the port LEDs on a switch, I'm going to ensure that the port status or stat light to the left of the ports is lit up and that the system or syst light above it is a solid green. If the system light is off, it means that the switch is not receiving power. And if it's amber, it means the switch is receiving power, but there's a problem that's preventing it from operating normally. I can cycle through the lights in this left column by pressing the mode button, and if the speed, the duplex, or any of the other lights are lit, the port LEDs will light up differently in order to show different information. In this video, we'll focus on the information that's conveyed by the port LEDs when the port status or stat light is lit. Okay, on to the port LEDs. You can see that I've got port 12 connected here. We know we're connected and the port is up because the corresponding port LED is green. You might notice the port numbers increment from left to right, with all the odd numbered ports on the top and the even numbered ports on the bottom. The shape of the port LED reflects how the ports are oriented. Odd numbered port LEDs are shaped like this, while even numbered port LEDs are shaped like this. Now let's get into the different port LED statuses and what they mean. The LEDs can be lit in a few different ways, which will help indicate the state that the port is currently in. If the port LED is completely off, it means that there is no link whatsoever. If you plug a cable into a switch to create a link, you generally expect the port LED to come on. If it doesn't light up, it indicates that the switch is not connected to a neighboring device. This is usually because of one of the following reasons. 1. The switch port is administratively shut down, or the neighboring switch port is administratively shut down. We can check this by running a show IP interface brief from the command line of the switch. This will tell us if the port is shut down. If the port is shut down, we can issue the no shutdown command in interface configuration mode to resolve the issue. Reason number two for the port LED being off is hardware failure. This means that either the switch port is defective, the neighboring switch port is defective, or the cable is defective. This is a simple hardware issue that can be tested by ruling out possible issues in order to isolate the source of the problem. So, you want to try testing the same connection with either a known good port on the neighboring switch, a known good port on your switch, or a known good cable to rule out issues one by one and determine what isn't working properly. Reason number three for the port LED being off. The cable is unplugged or isn't seated properly in one of the two switch ports. This is more likely to occur if the retention tabs on the switch port have been broken off, which sometimes happens when cables are forcibly pulled from the switch ports. Broken retention tabs means the cable can slide out or get yanked out more easily. Another corner case where the port LED is off for at least this particular model of switch is when the port is connected, but it's in the error disable state. This means that the switch has disabled the port because particular conditions were met. Okay. Now assuming that the ports on both switches are not shut down, there are no cabling or hardware issues, and the port is not in error disable mode, you should see a port LED come on. However, the switches still might not be ready to pass traffic. An amber port LED generally means that there is still an issue that's preventing the switch from forwarding traffic normally. For example, it could be because you just plugged in the cable and spanning tree needs to converge. If that's the case, you just need to wait for the spanning tree timers to expire and the port will come up. It could also mean that there is some other configuration issue. If you're faced with an amber port LED, you may need to run a few show commands to diagnose the issue. So if there are no issues with the link, or if you've corrected any issues you had, the amber light should turn green, which indicates the port is fully up and ready to pass traffic. 
And that's it as far as port LEDs go. To recap, a link light or port LED will stay off if there is a physical connectivity issue or if the port is administratively shut down. It will typically be amber if there is a configuration issue or if spanning tree is blocking the port, and it will be green if the port is up. Thanks for viewing. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content.